I wanted to talk a minute about reinforcement. As far as reinforcing a countertop, I would say it's definitely necessary. My name is Vincent. Welcome to my YouTube channel, DIY Concrete Countertops. Um, there's different things such as GFRC concrete that's glass fiber reinforced where sometimes you'll see them not use any type of wire or mesh or anything like that. They're relying strictly on the fiberglass and the strength of the concrete. When I'm using off-the-shelf products that I can buy at my local big box store, I always put in reinforcement. For basic 2-inch or less countertops, I strongly recommend looking into a product known as ladder wire. Ladder wire is a really good option. It comes in two sizes, a 2 inch and a 6 inch. It's a block wall product. It's made for laying on top of layers of cinder block wall. Works great for concrete countertops. You can cut it to size. It comes in 10 foot lengths. And what I typically do is I'll pre-cut to fit my concrete piece. I stay inside of my forms all the way around at least a half an inch. I generally do not tie grids, I just stack it. I'll take all the pieces out and I'll lay them underneath the form. When I'm pouring, when I hit that halfway point, I can just reach under each form and place them. I don't have to try to sort them out of a pile, it keeps everything moving nice and smooth. The 4 by 8 sheets of mesh. Not a bad option. They can be a bit cumbersome to work with. They work good in pour in place countertops because you can cut them, wire them together, and leave them in the form. You aren't trying to handle them or move them around. The disadvantage of a 4x8 sheet is they tend to twist and bend and rarely lay flat. They do eliminate the need to set reinforcement mid pour. Rebar. Any countertop thickness of two inches or less, I shy away from rebar. The reason is two pieces of number three bar equals three quarters of an inch when stacked into a grid, and that is not enough concrete coverage. It can almost act as a joint in your concrete and cause cracking. It does have its place in thicker tops, large cantilevers, and any other special circumstances like that. It can be a bit cumbersome, comes in 20 foot lengths, a little bit tough to bend. Typically, 2 inch countertop or less, I wouldn't use it. Now there's also this plastic mesh that you see some of the specialized stores carrying. I've used it before, a bit of a hassle and overpriced. It's an acceptable option, but it's far from my first choice. If you're buying your forms from one of the retailers and it's a one-time project, then it's probably an okay option for you. As the old saying goes, all concrete cracks. What we're trying to do with this reinforcement is prevent the cracks from expanding and separating. These different types of reinforcement can also work together very well in certain instances. If you are unsure what to use in your specific application, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button. And to keep following along as this concrete series continues, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.